Today we will speak about how to install Visual Studio Code and to use a L extension in it. First, we need to go to ArchiMS Nav Developer Preview, and from here we will create Azure VM from template. Our VM name will be ALVS Code. We will create new resource group. We will use admin password and we shouldn't uh, change VM admin username. We start to implement it. And uh, after some minutes, our virtual machine will be created. We should uh, connect to it uh, using remote desktop. And uh, we should use VM admin username and our password, which we used before. And after some minutes, we will got to this remote desktop. When uh, we start remote desktop with a uh, new created virtual machine, there will be no uh, Visual Studio in it. We should install it using PowerScript. We go to local disk C, install new development environment, and the script uh, will do several things. It will import uh, Visual Studio from internet, it will install it, it will create a new NAV service, it will start it, it will create new NAV web. A server instance, uh, it will download cell samples and install uh, Visual Studio extension, which we call AL extension for Visual Studio. Then we can start Visual Studio code. When we start it, we see a welcome message. We can uh, go from here to our website for some help, but we will close it and we will use command uh, Ctrl Shift P to start new AL project. We will call it uh, Nav in the Air. We'll press enter and we've got it. We uh, now can use local server to connect to our NAV instance. And we have uh, our project. And system tells us that we need to download symbols. So what are symbols? Symbols are our NAV standard objects. So in our example, it's standard objects from NAV uh, W1 version 10. So when we click download, it downloads a new Navix file which consists of standard objects. And we will make our extension based on these standard objects. We have uh, several system files here in our project. Uh, one is a uh, launch.json file, other is app.json file. If we open launch.json file, it consists of a uh, connection to our uh, NAVs, NAV server or NAV instance, uh, where we will uh, publish our extension and where we will test our extension while 
uh, we will develop it. It have server, server instance, tenant, authentication, and also it have a special property which object to start. It will be useful when we will uh, use in object uh, in, in object designer uh, while developing our pages. Uh, we cannot uh, look at uh, system at packages Navix files, but we can uh, look in app JSON. It consists of our GUID ID of our extension, name of our extension, uh, publisher, and other other properties like uh, publisher. It will be default Microsoft partner, and some brief information about this app. So, for example, our app will register flights of uh, airplanes and uh, other properties, but the main properties are here application and version and local. So, uh, these are uh, parameters based on which uh, our extension will work. We will close app and uh, launch JSON files. And if we open a Hello World AL file, uh, here is an example of uh, how we can uh, develop on AL. We will clean it up and we will start to uh, develop our own uh, AL uh, application in next video. Thank you.